Hello and welcome to my fly tying episode one. Uh, today we will be making a poly spinner, which is pretty easy. I thought we would start out with an easy one. You're going to need a lightning strike DF1 or DF3. Well, it doesn't have to be lightning strike. That's what I like to use though, because just normal. <laughs> um, hook size should be around 12 through 18. Uh, 70 denier ultra thread olive, which is what I have right here. It doesn't have to be 70, it can be like a 140 or whatever. I'm using a 140. Uh, you can, you're can you going to want some neck hackle, that's brown, and some olive dubbing fur. And here's the brown neck hackle. And dubbing, which I already showed. Okay, let's start. So you're going to want to start with a jam knot. to June jam knot, so I'm just going to do it my way. And of course all the tools that you're going to want are just standard fare. Oh yeah, and you also want poly yarn. Let me grab that real quick because I forgot that. Oh crud, I might have to use a different color of poly yarn. <laughs> oh wait, no I don't. I'm just going to find it. There it is. Okay, got my poly yarn. You're going to want this too. And let's get started. So what you're going to do is you're going to start your thread at the center of the hook and, well I didn't, but you're going to secure it with a jam knot. Which I'm not going to do, but you guys can because I don't like jam knots, they look bad. And wrap it down the hook shank until it reaches the barb. Well, it's above the barb. So I'm just going to keep on spinning, spinning, almost there, and we're good. Okay, now that you've done that, you're going to take your neck hackle, neck hackle feather, sorry about the little mess up there, and pull one out, and you don't need very much for this, you just want to pluck off ten little fibers, which is hard for me, get my little hackle pliers. I'm going to pinch off many, take it, you're going to pinch them off. And you're going to take these, you're going to put it on right there. I might actually have to do this again because um, I don't think I took enough neck hackle. Yes. Ah, I'm in a bit of trouble here, I don't normally. Oh, crud. Crud nuggets. There we go. Just enough to get it just to the end. And you're going to wrap it up all the way like so. And you have a nice little tiny tail right there. And then you can put your neck hackle away because that's all you'll be using it for. So that's good. <laughs> I don't care for using neck hackle. I like to use uh, marabou and other stuff. Marabou, flash. Here's one of my recent ones that I made. I like this one because it's just flashy and everything. So, if you want to make this, I'll show it to you and we can make it, but otherwise I'm not going to make it because it's a long one to make. That one probably took me two-ish hours, so I'll just be doing quick ones normally. Okay, and then you're going to take your dubbing, which is right here. And like I said, this is a very easy fly to tie. Pull this down to where you get enough fly. You're going to pinch off tiny bit, that's probably way too much actually, put some back, stretch it out, and you're going to dub the dubbing, just like so, you're going to pinch it between your fingers, and make sure that it gets on there, don't accidentally break it like I did, <laughs> mistake, okay, and then, you're going to wrap from too far there. I'm gonna wrap from about right here. Just keep wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. Oh, a little loose strand right there. And then I'm going to pull it off like that. Do a little spin, then 
let you have your W on. I'm just going to go back to the loose ends because I don't like the looks of that. Sorry about the background noise. Okay, now that that's done, we are going to take our poly ER. I actually have to sacrifice some of the stuff here. Actually, no, I'm, I'm, we're going to want, depending on your hook size, you're going to want it to be about the length of a hook, about this long, and then you're going to want to go across on it. That's how I normally measure my poly yarn. So it looks good that way. You're going to snip it off. Very carefully because this stuff will fall apart. I'm gonna take the poly yarn that you just cut, pull out any terrible looking strands. I have a couple, which is good because I normally have a lot. I hate using poly yarn. Actually, well, I don't hate it, I just dislike it strongly. So, yeah, basically, I hate it. I'm gonna tie that on. So crap. This is why I don't like working with poly yarn. I actually, oh yeah, that was a bad piece of poly. Yeah, I can save it probably. Let's do this. Oh, where did I put my hackle pliers? Probably shouldn't do this, but it's cheating. No, I'm not going to use that piece. It was a bad one. Alright, so, chop off a new piece. <laughs> Unless yours is already good. Just make a quick little snip. There we go. This piece is a lot better. The jad. And. Come over like that. This is probably the hardest part of the fly. I'm having the hardest time today with this stupid poly yarn. Alright, new piece. <laughs> Sorry about this. Okay, this time I'm getting it. I'm gonna chop off extra. I am tired of you, poly yarn. I hate you and your face. You may want to just skip ahead to where I'm done. I don't know where that will be though. Well, currently. Probably put a little link or something. No, nah, it won't. It's easy to do that. Oh my god. Stupid poly yarn. I hate your face. Never got along. Alright, this I might actually line this up a bit. That's probably the reason why I can't tie it right now. Oh my god. Poly yarn sucks. Okay. 
Okay, we have almost conquered the hardest part. Well, for me anyways. I apologize for this amateur showing. It's not going to be too pretty. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't whistle. Okay, now that you got that crap on, I'm plug off my extra strings right now. Oh my gosh, I hate how these wings are I don't to fix those, I'm just saying. fingers really quick, well I do anyways, and it's almost complete, so what we need to do is come back, take out your dubbing again, I already have a little small piece laid aside, oh crap, This is the reason why I hate working with poly yarn, it's because it is not very strong and it just flops around all over the place. There we go. Turn it off right there and there. And then you're going to finish with a couple of whip knots, which are pretty simple to do. And you're done. You've tied yourself a little poly spinner and this was actually the first time that I tried tying this one which definitely shows that it's pretty easy because I'm not the best fly tire novice I guess you could say so yeah just finish with a couple of whip knots and you'll be good thank you for watching and that oh wait Actually, no, we're not done yet. <laughs> well, I mean, everybody knows you need to apply a couple of drops of fly head cement to it and everything, but that's basically it. And I'll just trim it up and put in a picture in the end of what it, the final product will look like once it's all trimmed and neat and everything. So, thanks for watching, and bye!